Join the Pop Sugar Fitness team for this 40 minute burn and shred workout that's gonna kick your metabolism into high gear. Let's get started. We have Susie and Zelana here to get it done. So join us for this mobility and core workout. We're gonna start on the floor. Let's drop it down into push up position. This first one, we're gonna alternate between a down dog and a plank. So you basically wanna start in a regular push up position. You're gonna shift your hips back, so your hips all the way up towards the sky, press those heels down towards the floor, and then come right back into plank position. Now pause this position, squeeze your belly in tight, feel that core working, and shift back. So you're gonna alternate between these two moves and you really don't wanna move your feet or your hands at all. And then come back into a nice plank. Good, squeeze and then rotate it back. We'll quicken it, quicken it up a little bit here. Press and then come forward. So really warming up the core, warming up the shoulders. You ladies liking this or yeah. what? Yeah, good, like shift it forward. Looking good, couple more seconds. I like the stretch. Oh, feels great, this is a great way to warm up and also activate those deep abdominal muscles. Yeah. You can I'm feel it. Feeling it. Oh yeah. And my arms get a nice stretch too. Z's yeah. got beautiful form there. She's a yogi. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> she's Good. got her down dog down. Here. Shifting it. Now we're gonna come into a plank and we're gonna go into an arm circle. So widen your stance just a little bit. It's gonna give you more stability. You're gonna open up one shoulder, give it a big shoulder circle and switch. Other side. Now, try not to open your body up too much. Keep your shoulders and your hips facing the floor. Square it up as much as possible, but you're getting as big of a rotation through that shoulder as you can. You guys feel your core really working there? Yeah. Woo. This is good because your shoulders are still involved and our core is working, but we're working on that mobility at the same time as we work on that core. Nice. Love this one. Good job. Yeah, nice. Opening up the shoulders. That's it. Good. More seconds here. I know planking is never the most fun <laughs> exercise, but at least this gives you something else to think about, right? Totally. Combine it. Good. Last two. Good. Get one more. Awesome. And then bring it down to the hands and knees. Now, this up one is going to be a torso twist. So we're on all fours. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. I'm gonna take my arm and I'm gonna rotate under my body, keeping this arm locked, and then open up your chest. Look up towards the sky, twist. Good, this one feels hard, huh? Yeah. Oh, you're getting that mid torso and upper back stretch. Open, good, under. Take your time with this. You can follow at our pace or you can go a little slower if you wanna hold that stretch for a little longer. Get this last one in and we're gonna switch sides. Oh, baby, Ooh, good, nice. switch it up. Now, you might find that one side's tighter than the other, yeah. but, oh, man, this side's a little looser for me. I like this side better. Oh. Feel this in my <laughs> arms after that plank. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, you guys look great. Rotation is so important and everybody forgets. That's right. You gotta twist. You gotta twist, and if you want a strong core, you have to have those strong rotational muscles, and you gotta make sure you have the mobility first. Good, last one. Reach under, reach up. Yes, good, now let's get the hips. So, circle around, you guys. Open up that hip. Big, full range of motion here. Mm -hmm. Think about keeping your shoulders and your hips square to the floor, but you're getting a big rotation through that hip. All those small muscle groups, awesome. Fast or slow, doesn't matter. Make sure you work on the range of motion. That's the most important thing to worry about. Mm -hmm. I love Switch this. up sides, going the other way. Good. Tone in the tush too, you guys. Glutes are part of your core. Don't forget about it. You just snuck that one in. That's right. <laughs> Good. Breathe. Always remember to breathe. Good. Draw that circle with the knee. Think about drawing a circle with the knee. That always reminds me to open up the hip more and more. Beautiful. Last couple reps. Woo! Good. And relax. All right, flip it onto your back, you guys. Remember, it's 10 minutes. Efficiency, right? Yes. So, mm -hmm. we're gonna roll it back and roll it up. So, I want you to lay all the way flat, arms up over the head. Take a deep breath in, and exhale, peel your spine up off the floor. Come up nice and tall, flat in the back. Reach towards the toes, look at that hamstring stretch. Good, roll it down. Nice, open it up. 
Lengthen, exhale, roll it up. Peel that spine, pull that back to the floor. Straighten it and reach it. And now this can be a very fluid movement here, but you wanna make sure that you're peeling that spine up off the floor. We're stretching and then you're peeling it back down. So really bring it down slow. Exhale. You're really controlling the motion. It's not about That's momentum. Right. Not momentum, that's exactly it, Susie. And Susie does Pilates on the regular, so she knows. That's it, lengthen, reach. And you're getting that mobility through your low back and hamstrings. So if you don't have that mobility, here's a great way to combine mobility and core in one. Bring it back. Give me one more, lengthen it out all the way up. Exhale, reach to those toes. Roll it down. Okay, now keep your head and neck and shoulders all on the floor, bring your legs up. Now if you're in advance, if you have a lot of strength in your core, you're gonna lower your hips down or legs down low. Keep your low back on the floor, okay? You're gonna open and close. Now if you're not advanced with your core strength, keep your legs up a little higher. You can keep them all the way up high towards the sky. The most important thing here is to keep your low back down flat. Good, let your neck rest. Mine was up just to look at you. But I want your neck flat. Keep your abs in tight. Woo, scissor legs. Feeling it. Who doesn't love this exercise? Come on, ladies. Me. Woo. <laughs> I think this is really challenging. This is so challenging. To really keep your back engaged to the yeah. floor is the hardest part. Yeah. Good, you guys got a couple more seconds. I just got tired, so I'm lifting <laughs> my legs a little bit. Oh, baby. Got to get a little release. Three, <laughs> two, and one. Awesome nice. job. Roll it up to the feet. Here we go. We're gonna go into a little seal jack here. So, feet together, we're gonna open and close the arms and get a little bit of cardio, a little mobility through the chest. I love that, enthusiasm love with the clap. <laughs> Give it up, sisters, let's go. Good, I like that. Open and close, big stretch through the chest. This is mobility, keep your abs pulled in tight, and breathe, that's it. Last couple seconds, come on. Bring it out, bring it out. Good, we're getting warmed up for that next move. We're gonna bring it to the floor here, three, Two, one, guys, straight arm push-ups. So you're here, hands underneath the shoulders. You're not gonna bend your elbows. You're gonna pinch your shoulder blades and press them apart. Pinch and press. This is a straight arm push-up. Make sure you're facing the floor. Your head shouldn't be looking up. You're looking towards the ground. You're pinching and pressing. This is really, really awesome work for the shoulder girdle here. And your shoulders and your abs. Mm -hmm. Breathe it out. Good, couple more, you guys. I always try to get at least 10 to 15 of these in. Breathing, three, give me two more, one, and bring it back Ooh, to your feet. Right. We are almost there. Okay, so we're gonna go with a nice little side bend, and you're gonna come up and you're gonna do a crunch. Side bend, crunch. Look at this, extend and squeeze. Extend and squeeze, oh yeah, come on. Extend, squeeze, you guys. You want your obliques, yeah, open man. up. And if you can open up that knee nice and wide, don't rush this one. I want to see that stretch. Good, last one. Let's go the other side. Oh my goodness, my shoulder's even burning. That one. <laughs> you guys, is it just me? Good. Reach. After this, push. Squeeze. Exactly. Squeeze. Stretch. Squeeze. Woo! Good. Good. A couple more seconds. I know. Good. Ugh. Almost there. Give me two more. Last one. And relax. Okay, now going into another mobility move for those hamstrings, we're going to kick, step back, and switch. Step back and switch. Now, when you kick that leg up, what are you doing most, right? Holding your abs in tight. Squeeze that core. You might get off balance like I just did, but get right back on those feet. Kick, keep that leg as straight as possible like Z and Susie. My hammies are always a little tight, so I gotta focus on that. Stretch it out. Abs are tight. Remember, this is mobility and core. Combining the two to maximize your results. Gonna be better in the gym. Good, breathe it out. Last couple seconds. Three, give me two more, give me one more, and drop it down to the floor. You guys, these are your last couple seconds. 
I want you to squeeze those abs in tight. Breathe. Pull your belly button into your spine. Now bring your feet completely together. Squeeze your thighs together. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Pull your belly button in toward your spine. Push your shoulder blades away from the floor. Don't let yourself cave in like this. Hold it away. Squeeze. You got 10 more seconds. Squeeze your thighs together. Don't forget to squeeze your glutes. Everything should be tight right now. Nice, strong, solid core. You're almost there. Yeah. Yeah, way to finish strong. And then drop it to the knees. Excellent job, ladies. Fit team, you guys always represent well. Here we go. We're gonna start with a curtsy lunge. So feet together. This is really gonna get the booty. Here we yeah, go. You're gonna it. take a step back. You wanna come just off your mat and drop straight down, okay? Bring your feet together and then the other side. Drop it straight down and together. So you don't wanna take a huge step back, nice and wide. You wanna take it nice and short so that your knee stays in line with your toe and that you really just get a nice angle here but your knee and your toe stay in line. It's a great way to get different angles of the glutes. Oh yeah, that's works. right, that's right. You'll feel it tomorrow, you guys. Back and forth and this is controlled so that it's safe on your hips, safe on your knees, going back and forth. And if you feel any pain, don't go as deep, okay, and shorten your step a little bit. Woo! I love this one. I'm feeling this one. It's a natural booty lift. Yeah. Gotta love, love that. that. Good, nice. Oops, lost my balance. I'm looking at Susie. Good. Dropping it down. Anything you want to do with your hands, just keep your abs engaged, always tight. That's the key here. Last two. Drop it one more to the other side. Boop. Awesome. We're going to come down onto the floor next and work on our core. So this is called the spider plank. You can start with the modified version, which is gonna be your opposite elbow to knee. So you're gonna bring your opposite elbow to knee, squeeze, and then switch. Okay, elbow to knee, and switch. Now if you wanna advance this, because you've seen this before, you can bring your hand to your foot. Boom, hand to foot, what? It's hard. It is hard. <laughs> Good, you gotta shift your weight a little bit, obviously. The less you shift your weight, the more you're working, go at your own speed, because this all depends on your balance, whew, coordination, and strength. It's harder on my left side. Yeah. We always have that little bit of imbalance <laughs> yeah. in our body, Ooh, which makes Ooh. it really great to work unilaterally and work both sides whew, equally. Feeling Last it. couple seconds, you guys, I know this one really burns. Ooh. Three, two, and one. Ooh. Now we're all breathing heavy there. I know you're feeling that one. So remember, modify that if you're way off balance. Okay, so coming on down, we're gonna do a push-up crossover. Now, no push-up, but it's a crossover move in a push-up position. You're gonna start with your feet together, hands about shoulder width apart. You're gonna cross one hand over the other. It's gonna come to the outside of your mat, and then bring your hands back into push-up, bring your feet together. Go back, cross over, move your feet. Cross over the other way, Woo. move your feet, good. You always want your feet apart when your hands, I mean, come apart. Does that make sense? Cross over, bring the feet apart. They get it. Yes. Cross over, bring the feet apart. Good. When you're in push-up position, your feet are together. Good. Try nice to keep feet. your hands under your shoulders. Is that hard or what? Yeah. This is I love top. it in my shoulders. Yeah. That Ooh, crossover it's move is like a lateral killer, movement. Killer. Yeah. yeah. Good. Last one. Boom. Boom. Let's get back on the mat. Oh, Good, man. and relax, top. Yes. Core, shoulders, booyah. All right, <laughs> we're gonna come back onto the stomach and we're gonna work that entire low back. So your core includes the low back as well. We wanna mm -hmm. tighten up that back. So you're gonna have your hands off the floor. All right, your face is looking down towards the ground. Keep your feet on the ground, lift your chest, squeeze, pause, and then lower back down. Exhale, lift, pause, and lower back down. Exhale, lift, pause. Oh man, I can feel that. Mm -hmm. Strengthen up that posture and lower down. Good. Lift, squeeze, and lower. Good. It's great for all those people stuck at desks all day long. Oh my goodness, you know it. Strengthen and lower. If you can keep your feet down, great. If they come up a little bit, it's okay. But work towards it. Lift, last two. Good. Lift that chest. 
Hold. Lower. One more. Lift, squeeze. And lower. Now, a great stretch for that. You always want to kind of counterbalance that one. Because mm -hmm. that one is really, really going to get that specific targeted low back muscles, right? So come on down to the stomach again. This is a W. This is for the middle of those shoulder blades. Thumbs up towards the sky, elbows at 90 degrees. Look towards the floor, have your chest gently off the ground, but not too high, not in that back extension that you were. And you're gonna pinch those elbows and thumbs, put them up towards the sky, pinch, and come back down. So thumbs stay pointed up towards the sky, you guys. Don't start turning them down, okay? Keep them up, pinch, and down. Not that that's a bad move, but that's not the move we're doing today. <laughs> pinch and lower, good. Squeeze that back, all right? Make sure you emphasize it. Pinch. Feels good. Man, this will give you some good posture. Yeah, work that up and back. Ladies, you do a lot of push-ups. You gotta do the pulls too, right? Yep. So you gotta pinch, pull it back. Make sure those elbows stay at 90 degrees. Mine started losing it, so I just remembered to remind you. Keep those elbows at 90, thumbs pointed up towards the sky. You're almost there. Good, three. <laughs> good, two, last one, and one. Oh my goodness. Now we're gonna get back into a core and upper body move called the push-up and pike jump combo. These guys were just telling me how much they like this move. All right, you're gonna go into a push-up position. You're gonna drop it into a push-up, come up tall, pike it up, pull those hips up towards the sky, jump it back out. Oh my gosh, you guys make that look good. <laughs> push-up, pike jump, and jump back out. Push-up, pike jump, jump back out. You wanna make sure you always land back into a push-up position, okay? There can be really bad form on this. You can land like this, and that's not good. So keep going, ladies, sorry. <laughs> Messed you up. In, pike it up. They're always so on cue with me. Gotta good. stick In. with Anna. Yeah. Good, one more. Push up, come up, pike jump, and then relax. Oh my goodness, oh, right? I like that, that one. And a lot of core, a lot of body parts. Working on that one, okay? Yeah. So now, flip it onto your back. My favorite, the atomic crunch. This one's gonna kind of advance from that roll up crunch, okay? So you're gonna roll up, but you're gonna bring your knees up too. So you're gonna roll that top of the body up, bring the knees in, look at us, atomic bombs right here, and then roll it down slow. Good, exhale, roll it up, squeeze, and then roll it down. Okay, I want you to be on fire right when you get right here. This is where you pause, this is where you hold, squeeze, and then roll it down. Good, exhale, roll it up, squeeze, Come on, baby, you got it. Three, good, you guys are looking great. Squeeze, come on, squeeze, and then roll it down. That pause is everything. You really gotta show that you have control. You got that core in line, good. Let's go, last one, squeeze it up. So good Breathe. for the low abs. I know, I, <laughs> I knew Susie would like it. <laughs> come on, let's get two more. Squeeze it up, right? Susie's like Love looking it. so fabulous. She's got a little baby now that's <laughs> no longer keeping her weight. <laughs> She is a ripped mama, ripped new mama. Breathe and then lower it down, good job. All right, you guys, let's pop it back up on our feet. Okay. Now, we're going into a little reverse lunge, and when we do this, we're gonna keep it on the same leg. So let's take a step back, reverse lunge, drop that back knee. If you can tap it, that's great. If not, no worries. Bring it up, back down. If you can tap it, great. If not, don't worry about it. Just drop it as much as you feel comfortable. Nice and gentle on that knee. Mm -hmm. That's it. That means you have control. You're not just falling to the floor. You're not just dropping your body weight. You have control of it. Good, all of that in one. Boom, and up. Now, we're gonna go one more, and we're gonna come back up, but drop it into a pulse. So drop it down and pulse. Squeeze, breathe. A little isometric, yeah. little hold. Mm -hmm. Make sure that knee is down, nice and low. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Feel it working. I love the burn. <laughs> yes. Bring it up and relax. Oh my gosh, shake it out. Ooh, Let's I'm do the other that. side now. Let's do that other side. Here we go. Let's do it. Drop it back and up. Notice how we're keeping our balance at the top. If you can't keep your balance, that's okay. All you gotta do is touch together, regain it and then you're back down. This is an advanced way to keep working on the core, balancing in the hips, lots of joint integrity there. And I love how my girls are using their arms. If this is you, look in the mirror right now. 
Change it up. Use those arms. It's going to help you really gain a lot more strength. Last one. Come up. Drop it down. Let's pulse. Oh, yeah. Burn. Oh, yeah. Press through that front heel and back toe. You got it. This is my balance. Me too. You got it. Ah! <laughs> Good. And come up. Shake it out. Oh, Last my. move. Okay. It's the chest fly and the try. So you can go modified or regular. Chest fly. Arms are wide. Wider than your mat. Chest fly. Down. Bring it in narrow. And try. Press it nice. up. Good. Wide. Woo. And narrow. Press. Good. Wide. You got two more. Narrow. Oh man. You can do it. Oh, wide. <laughs> Let's go narrow. This is it. Oh, Woo. I love my life. Nice. Grab your heavier set. If you only have one set of dumbbells, that's okay. All right? Grab your heavier set, anywhere from five to 10 pounds, or we're gonna go into a reverse lunge bicep curl combo. So start with your feet together. You're gonna take a nice little step back, drop the knee, come up, give it a little curl, and then switch legs. Drop it back, come up and curl. Nice and slow, show the control. Not using a lot of momentum here, but you're working those legs and you're getting that upper body to work at the top. Make sure to press up through that front heel so you really give that big push through that glute and you're not putting a lot of pressure on the knee. You guys feel good? Yeah. Baby. I like these combination moves so they really get so many different muscle groups working. It's efficient. That's right. We only got it's 10 hot. minutes. Bring it down. Good. Curl it up. So the heavier weights are going to get a little bit more exhaustive here. But if you got lighter ones, just keep fighting through it as well. And you're getting a burn no matter what. Last couple. Burners! <laughs> Good. And relax, okay? Now we're gonna keep those heavier weights in hand and go into a bent over row. So keep your feet about hip distance apart. You know, they can be pretty tight. Bring your hands in front of your knees. You want a flat back. You're gonna drive those elbows straight back. Squeeze and lengthen it out. Row and press. Good. Make sure that you really pull back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and let it out. Good. Nice flat back. These ladies showing it perfectly. Keeping the chest high and the booty back. Bending the knees. You never want to lock out the legs. That's it. You guys feeling the back work or what? Yeah. Feeling the scapula slide together. My arms burn during this one too. We're really working them. Last couple seconds, bring it back. Remember, we're lifting, we're rowing, pulling, pressing, and then relax. All right, let's set down the heavier weight. If you have something lighter, grab that, because these next moves, using some smaller muscle groups, okay? So single-legged reverse fly. You're gonna be on one foot, stabilizing on one leg. Bring your hands in front, turn your palms open. Okay, now your back leg's gonna come up a little bit. You still wanna have a flat back. You're gonna pull, squeeze, and lower down. A slight bend in the elbows, and then lower down. If you feel like your balance is challenged too much, just drop your back toe and give it a little bit of a balance help there. Otherwise, you're working that stability leg, and you're gonna feel that burn through the butt. That balance is hard. Woo! This is tough. Good, one more, and then we'll switch legs. Woo! Oh my goodness, awesome Woo. job. So you can have a nice slight bend in your elbows too so that you don't strain any of your joints. Go on that single leg, this is my hard side. And bring it up, squeeze. Remember, bend forward so that you have gravity. You gotta fight gravity here. Squeeze, lower down. Shh. Exhale as you pull up. Shh. Remember, when you're lifting with weights, you wanna exhale during the exertion part. Woo! Lost my balance of the exercise. <laughs> so exhale on the way up. Last couple. Feeling it. And relax. Oh, oh baby. You gotta love those moves and they're very controlled, okay? So just work on those and you'll get better. Now, we're gonna come down to the floor. So you only need one weight for this. It's called an external rotation. So you're working your shoulder girdle, lay all the way flat, bend your knees slightly, 
Elbow rests right on your side. You're gonna pull it all the way up, show the palm, and then lower it down slow. Good, open, lower it down slow. Awesome, I can see Z's back looking so good. So rotator cuff, shoulder, nice. And lowering it down, breathe. Exhale on the lift, that's the exertive portion. And then lower, exhale, lift. Awesome, breathe. Working those little muscles in the shoulder, I can feel it. Oh, that's right, and these are the stability muscles. We need these muscles to support our larger muscle groups when we do heavier lifting. Good, last two, lift. I just like to get that full burn, good, one yeah. more. And then let's switch Ooh. sides, so just flip that body around. Oh baby, bring it down. Support yourself here so that your head's supported. Body's pretty straight and let's lift it up. So I'm keeping my elbow in tight to my body here so that I don't use a lot of momentum here from my shoulder. If I pull it up like this, I'm using a lot of shoulder and I'm not using those small muscle groups. So really keep that elbow in tight and pull it up. If you have a lot of control and you can let your elbow gently come off the side and you can still control the movement, then that is gonna give you even a greater development of that shoulder muscle. Ooh, I am feeling Ooh, this guys one. Feel that one. Wow. Good. My left side is definitely weaker. Doesn't look like much, but it is a killer. Yeah. Good. Last couple. Woo. Last one. Pull it up and let it down. Ooh. Nice job. Now, no weights for this next one. We're gonna come right onto the back. All right. You're gonna do a roll up and toe touch. The only weight you have here is the weight of your leg. So our arms come up overhead. We're gonna exhale. Roll up. Bring your hand to your opposite toe. Yeah, and then roll it down <laughs> slow. Hands overhead, roll up, opposite toe. And I want you to pause up there. Really squeeze, and then lower. Exhale, come up, squeeze, and lower. That's it, so that leg is now your resistance. Your lower abdominals gotta fire in order to pick that leg up and help that hip flexor. So don't make it just a hip flexor move. Really pull, really try to use those lower abs, pull them in tight. Good firing. Good yeah. Firing. Susie's like, don't worry. <laughs> Feel it. A couple more. Here we go. Lift. Lower. Come on, last one. And lower. Beautiful. Now grab your light weights again, okay? Because you don't want too heavy on this one. It's a seated single arm chest fly. So you're in a V-sit position. The weights are out in front of you. You're gonna open up one shoulder, but keep your shoulders squared up to the front. Bring it back to the middle. And then again, open. This is where it's hard. Ooh, it's man. when that weight comes out wide and you're fighting to rotate. You don't yeah. want to rotate. Breathe and exhale. Good. Inhale. <sighs> exhale. <sighs> God, this is great for the core, too. So good for the core. Mm -hmm. My shoulders yeah. and my chest, too, are getting that burn. Gotta love it. We're pulling, lifting, lowering. We're using those weights, you guys. <sighs> Breathe. Last couple. Good, two, last one, and relax. All right, now bring it up to the feet. Keep those weights in hand. You could grab heavier here, but I say we just stick with our light ones for now. Lateral lunge for you beginners. Keep the light weights in hand. You're gonna step out wide, so the feet come wide. Stick the booty back onto a lateral lunge. Weights come to the inside and outside of the leg. Press together, let's go same side. Step out, booty back, good, in. And you're using those arms a little bit. If you have heavier weights, a lot heavier on the legs, a lot heavier on those arms. Woo, baby. Good. This is a nice way to just boost. Get another lower body and upper body combo move. Let's get one more and then we switch. All right. Yeah, go ahead and go the other side. Big step out, booty back. I want you to keep that knee in line with that foot. Okay, so notice how my knee isn't going out this way. I'm keeping it in line, booty back. Pressing up through my heel. Boom, good. Nice, lengthen it, lengthen. Good, couple more. Wanna be even. Breathe, rest more, one more. Good, and relax. Right. Now we're right here, keep those weights. We're gonna go tricep extension. Bend those knees, you're like in a biker stance here. Right. Elbows up towards the sky, extend the arms. 
bring it in. Extend the arms. Now this is a classic move, right? But yeah. so effective, so don't forget this one. Put it in your back pocket and use it. There you go. Bam. Work those arms. You really feel the squeeze right there at the top. Make sure you do pause and you hold it for those couple seconds. That is gonna be a big difference. Now we're gonna go into a long arm extension. So long arm, whoa, <laughs> totally different now. Yeah. To isolate the back of the shoulders and more of your lats, more of your back. Lift, exhale, lift, come on. You're almost there through this drill. You guys are doing great. Lift, good, up. Couple more, two, you're skiing, and one. Nice. Okay, drop, well, not dropping the weight. Your last couple seconds here is a burpee with your weights, okay? Okay. So, feet are wide, drop it down to the middle of your mat, jump out, jump back in. Feet are flat, curl, press, bring it down. Here we go. Down, in, up, press. At your own pace, don't feel like you have to be right in line with us. You want good form, squat, in, curl, press, roll it down, one more. Out, in, curl, press, and never quit, keep it going. Let's start with a high knee exercise. So here, you can also do a high knee skip. So Z might show you some of the modifications for this workout. If I say you can modify, there's always a way to get it done, okay? So we're going with high knee right now. Abs are pulled in tight, arms are pumping. Drive those knees up. Oh yeah, get it burning, get it burning. Scorching major fat. Nice Susie, nice Susie. Drive that knee up and relax. Oh yeah, we're not messing around this time, are we? So let's go plyo push up. Come on down to the floor. So we're gonna be on our knees. If you can do a plyo push up on your toes, switch to your toes if this feels too easy. You're gonna drop down into a push up. Gently push off the hands and come back down. Exhale as you push off. Woo, woo, plyo. So it's power. Speed and strength together equals power. Almost there. Woo. If you get tired, just do the push up. Three, two, one. Oh, and That's there's good. nothing easy about it, but this is why this is called the shredder, okay? All right, now, you guys, we're gonna come back down into push-up, but this is a pulse this time. So, you're gonna do a tricep push-up pulse. From the knees, you're gonna lower it down, and you're gonna pulse. Oh yeah. Feeling it already. That's right. So you just pulse in. If you're up here a little bit more, you're getting tired, you can come up a little higher. Good, pulse, come up a little higher, and pulse. Come on. Oh yeah, baby. Good, push all oh, the way up. Stretch out those arms. Good. Good, one more time. Here we go, drop it in. We're gonna pulse, ready? Uh -huh. Elbows in tight, pulse. That's it. Your pulse can be slow, it can be fast, it can be little one, but it's gonna burn. It's burning. It's burning. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling it. I'm gonna drop right now and press it out. Oh. Stretch it, good job you guys. There's <laughs> nothing easy about it. Now we're gonna go right into a couple core moves. So Superman, Right? We're calling this a Superman. Superman always has a lot of names in fitness. But this one here, you're gonna lift your arm in your opposite leg and then switch. If you wanna modify, just raise your arm. Okay, you can always just raise your arm. If you wanna go both, you're gonna go opposite arm and leg. Don't go same side. That's like advanced by <laughs> any good yogi. Back and forth, breathe, holding. Make sure to pause it at the top. Woo! Last couple seconds here. Breathe it out. That is a good core challenge. I know it. My triceps are burning after burning, that. Burning, burning, burning. Now, pike tucks. This one here, you're gonna bend your knees in. Now, modifying it, I'm gonna have Z jump in a little less so that she's just doing a short tuck. I'm gonna do the full tuck. You're gonna come into the middle, tuck, back out to the side, twist. Back out, twist, back out again to the middle, back out and twist, back out and twist, back out to the middle, good, in, back out and in. Make sure you're twisting those hips and twist, back out in the middle, back out and twist, back out and twist, and back out and in the middle, 
<laughs> I'm losing track. I know, I know, I, I know. It. Good job. <laughs> so the heart rate is up, you guys. There's a lot of power moves, but you're doing amazing. Now come on up to the feet. And I'm huffing and puffing. That means you know we're working hard, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna do a split lunge and twist. So start with your feet together. We're gonna twist this way first. So left foot going forward. For you, it's your right. You're gonna go into a split and you're gonna twist. Come together and switch. Twist. Together. Split. Together. Yeah, we're gonna pick it up. Susie's already ready. Twist <laughs> towards the knee. So Z's gonna, Z, make sure you're twisting towards the knee in front. Oh. It's okay if you're going the opposite way as us. Make sure you twist opposite. into it. I know it's hard to get it. There we go. At first. Got it. She's got it. That's it. Bring it. Last couple seconds. Oh my goodness. Three. Good two. And one. Nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. At least I was jumping and twisting hey, somewhere. That's right. <laughs> All that matters is that you're moving, right? Okay, so single arm burpee. Now this one here, you guys. What you want to do is go two hands at first if this is totally out of your comfort zone, okay? If you can do it, you're going down with one hand. You're going to squat it down, touch, jump the feet out, jump them back in, jump up. Switch arms, down, in, and up. Switch arms, down, in, and up. Out, in, and up. Good. Let's shred it, baby. This is no joke. No joke. Got a lot of things working here. Legs, abs, arms. Modify it with two hands, remember, if you need to. My shirt's flying out. <laughs> All <laughs> sorts of things are happening. <laughs> see and relax. Oh my gosh, and I just kind of need to relax because I'm, I'm winded. But you guys are looking good. Keep with it. Now, we're gonna go into a negative push-up here. So coming back down on this one, is all about decreasing the speed in which you hit the floor, okay? So into push-up position, I want you to slowly drop it down to the floor so your belly completely hits. Slow, slow, your elevator, and hit. Roll up like a worm. You're doing the worm, good. <laughs> and then let's go back down, slow, slow, slow. Find it right when it's hard. Mm. <laughs> and then roll it up like the worm. Back up on the toes, ready? Slow, slow, slow. Fight it, fight it. And roll up. You guys looking great. Come on. Slow, slow. Slow, slow. Slow, slow. Okay, one more. Looking good. All right. I want you to fight as hard as you can this time. Going down the slow you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> yeah. Where are you at, Z? Good, stretching out the arms. Okay, guys, coming on up to your feet. Now, you guys are looking really good, okay? Lots of plyos, lots of cardio, lots of power. So we're gonna go skater plyo. I want you to start on the edge of your mat, and I want you to try to clear the mat. Even if you're not touching the floor and you start like this. Go ahead, this is how you can start. I want those of you that have done my Tabata workout, have done a lot of other class fits, where we work on those skater plyos touching the ground. And then look, you can get more distance on that jump each time. Push it off, lower it down, lightly touch. You can also keep it light. Good. Remember you guys, you can always modify, go nice and light, or you're touching down low like Susie girl, that's Ooh. right. Almost there, and relax. Okay you guys, I know that air is being sucked in right now. We yeah. got two more moves. I want your fullest effort right now. We're gonna go down for a little bit of a plyo push-up. All right, so starting from the knees, remember, lower down slow, and then power on the way up. Ready, go. Drop it down, power. Drop it down, good. Big exhale on the way up. That's it, lower it down, nice and controlled. Three, two, and one. Man, and that'll get the upper body fired up. So, last move, going into a Superman. Back on those okay. hands and toes. You ladies with me? Mm -hmm. yes. Feeling good? All right. We're to the end, we're close to the end. Feet hip width apart, let's go. Opposite arm and leg, reach and down, good. Really give it that pause. Try to show that you have control, that core. 
or you're just raising the arm, you guys, that's also a very intense move. You're just adding a lot of spice and a lot of life to that regular <laughs> plank. And if you're raising just the arms, make sure to stabilize your hips, right? That's yeah. it, exactly, Z. Keeping those hips square to the floor. Three, good, two, last one. All right. And relax. Oh. Now, with a workout like that, come on up to your feet, you guys. Let's take a couple deep breaths in. Let's cool down together, because I want to show you how to really just kind of open up, take a big inhale, exhale. One more, inhale. And I know that's hard to do when you're winded, but try to take a couple of those deep breaths. Now, come on down to the floor, guys, because one thing we worked a lot of are our hips. So I want you to bring it up, stretch your hips. A lot of balancing, a lot of jumping, a lot of side to side. Breathe. They definitely got worked. Oh, yeah. And when you do power workouts, it's less time and it's more work on the body. So you always can take a minute or two to really stretch and let yourself recover. Go ahead and switch. Hold it here for another couple seconds. So proud of you guys. That was a hard workout. Do it again if you got time. Make that one a part of your regular regimen. That'll get you to the next level. Definitely. For sure. Awesome. Nice work, you guys. See you next time, sugars. Good. Good job. Great job, guys. Keep up the good work. And we'll see you next time on Pop Sugar Fitness.